Let me tell you about my female experiences. I've been hosted, I've been roasted, I've been ghosted, but I'm still here. I've been thanked, I've been blanked, I've done workouts with some, we did a plank. I've been swimming, I've been running, one cancelled last minute, that wasn't funny, but I'm still here. Some gave me chicken on a bone, some offered me the breast, some had legs and thighs, these were their assets. Some I wanted to stone, some I left alone, some made me feel like a king seated on a throne. Some chased me down, some chased me away, some replied to texts every three to five days. Some played games, I played back, some thought I was their enemy and they tried to attack. One tried to smack, some didn't text back, I think some blocked and deleted me and moved on with Jack. I'm not a player, but I like to win. When she treated me like trash, I treated her like the bin. I confessed my sins, that was a wrong thing to do. I believe in treating others better than they treat you. Some made me shy, some said come by, we can just cuddle and watch something on Sky. Some wanted to Netflix, some wanted to chill, some wanted to Netflix chill and morning after pill. One grabbed my balls in public, in the moment I felt small. I've had a few humbling experiences, but I still stand tall. I've been fired, but I'm still inspired. I've been tired, but I know that I can still have my heart's desire. Rejections, erections, wrong directions and reflections. I can't let all these things stop me. It's all part of the single Christian journey. I'm 29 now, I'm a little tougher now, but I can still be a little bit of a softy. I still believe that in due season, I will marry my wife and by God's grace, we will enjoy life. Yes, but when? When it happens, you will know, but you're running out of time. God is never late, I'll be just fine. I cook, I clean, I'm a neat dude. Girls can't turn my head anymore because of food. I admit, I might look if you're dressing nude, but that doesn't move me anymore, I'm not that kind of dude. I encourage modesty, but I'm not a prude. I respect women, I don't want to be rude. I've got a life to live, I've got a purpose to complete. I've got a straight path and I don't want anything to distract my feet. What I would say to all of you is don't settle for less than God's best for you. If you've got godly standards, keep them high. The right person will climb for you. Don't follow the crowd. Don't settle for less. You may have been through good, bad and ugly experiences, but you can still have God's best.